Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you for inviting me to this exciting conference. Uh, it's an honor to be here at the very first um, National Legislators Conference. And one of the reasons that I was invited is because my work now is about um, networking. I'm apparently, we are the network building partners. Uh, it's called Peer Connect, my organization. And what that means is um, specializing in sharing knowledge. Um, and, and I'll explain a little bit about that, but it comes from the experiment that I had here in India in 2005 to 2009, and it was called Solution Exchange. And I don't know if anybody was on this, um, where we had um, 12,000 people from different um, disciplines, and they were anchored, and the UN country team was convening these communities. So one was decentralization, for example. And we had 2,000 members of people involved in decentralization. And we had everybody from the government, from nonprofits, from academics, research organization, and donors. And they all talked about how to get things done. It was a network. It's a knowledge sharing network. And I think one of the things that we realized is that people in the same job like to help each other out. And, and now that we have networking, you could make, we can make that happen. And that's what we are doing. And that's why I'm here to see if we can create something for the legislators. Um, knowledge sharing is a special kind of a network. Um, it's about what you know. Right? So I have 40 years of knowledge about the United Nations, the UN. It's not information. I don't have 40 years of information about the UN. If you want information, you can Google it. Usually there's one answer. Knowledge, there's many answers. It depends on who you ask. And it's not opinion sharing. Opinion sharing, you can go to Twitter for that or any of the other ones. That's not what we're after. We're after knowledge. And knowledge has to be shared by the knower, the person whose knowledge it is. And that means you have to make a personal connection with somebody whose knowledge you would like to have. And basically, it's how do you get something done? For example, um, the knowledge I had about the UN, I was very good at getting things done, believe it or not, in the UN. <laughs> because I knew the magic words, because I worked there for so long, and the magic words were, if there was a project that I wanted, and everybody said, there's no money, there's no money, I would go to the finance director's office, and I would say, global reserve, that was the magic word. And he would say, why didn't you say so? And those are the kinds of things you have when you talk to people who have the knowledge. I happened to get it from one of his assistants. He said, global reserve. So that's, that's how it got done. Um, and um, what um, we have here, it's basically, what, about 50 people, right? And if we have an average of, say, 10 years in the legislature, that's 500 years of knowledge, right? That is just in this room. So chances are somebody somewhere has an answer or an advice to give to somebody who has a challenge. And I think what I was going to do, um, if we have time, but I'll just run through it. Um, one of the issues that came up, let's just see what happens, is improving public consultation process while enacting laws. Okay, so there's a question that you would ask, who has, has, thinks that they have a good public consultation process? Let's raise your hands if, if you're from a state that has done well in public, public consultation when you're looking at the legislature. Anybody? They cited the example of Uttar Pradesh. No, somebody does it. Huh? No, somebody does it. No? Huh? Okay, well, who, who has an example of one? Who knows of one? 
not that they've done it, but who knows where it has been done. Okay. Yes, good. Yeah, go ahead. Actually, the, uh, if there is a law that has to be enacted in the parliament, there, is, there are some public hearings that is being held randomly, yeah. not in every state, very randomly for the purpose of conducting a public hearing. Yeah. But it is not being conducted by any of the state legislatures before enacting any law in the state legislatures. Mm -hmm. This is a very poor uh, consultative process uh, between the legislature or the parliament and the public. Mm -hmm. India is very poor and we need to improve a lot in this. Well, that's good. This is a challenge. So you need to talk to someone who has done a good publication, public consultation process. There were some examples in the compendium that I saw. Other countries have done that. And it, it mentioned with that Pradesh, in fact, the, 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 the idea of bringing the, the Women's Day in, so you get to hear from them. But that's an example. Um, does anybody know of any organizations that they could tap if they're looking for a good public consultation process or, or people that know about it? Any, any thoughts? And the other one is, who has read about a good consultation process? Because this is a, a big topic. <laughs> um, what we're going to do tomorrow, uh, we're going to bring some international specialists and there's a round table in the morning um, where we will meet some people who probably could answer this. And, and that's the idea, to come together with people who, who can help you um, to get these things done. Um, what we do with this is um, think of if we have these people in the room, 40 people. Um, if we do, what I do is we put everybody on a network and across India. Right? The decentralization community I mentioned had 2,000 members. That's 2,000 people that are involved in decentralization. So somebody somewhere probably has uh, experience in this, has done it, is somebody who you can contact. The idea is not that you have to know it, but you have to know who knows it. And that's the idea of putting everybody together on a network so that you can ask the network, who knows, who's done good public consultation? And you'll get, I have done it, and here's what I learned, or here's somebody I know, here's some state or some country that has done it, or here's the people or the experts that are working on it, or here's the things to read about it. And that's their knowledge. And that's what you use. And you can take that and not just listen to them, but call them up, contact them, learn and get to know them so that you can build um, trust and you can contact them anytime or they can come to your state and, and help you put that into practice. So that's the general idea of knowledge sharing um, and what we hope to do is to take this process and, uh, and bring it into what I understand is going to be a National Legislators Association. And this is, I hope, in the works. And in that National Legislators Association, there will be a component and where we will include, introduce this knowledge sharing idea. It has to be moderated because everything has to be positive and constructive. This is the idea. Um, you're helping each other out and it goes and it builds trust because when you start talking to each other, you get to understand, you know, who know who, who knows something, who can help you and you get to know who they are. And I think that's an important part as well. And it strengthens the association because you are now connecting on an individual level and you're finding out who you can help and who can help you. And so again, you listen to speeches or presentations. It's, you want not to understand the presentation. You want to contact the person that gave the presentation and say, tell me more about this or, or help me out on that. So that's what we're here uh, doing. And I think um, hopefully in the morning, the round table is at, at uh, 8 o'clock to 8.30, I think, to 10.00 and we'll have the international participants. And we're gonna do the same kind of example, and we'll see. Come to learn 
and we can we can come up with topics that are interested. And this might be a good one to, to bring up and see what they have to say. So that that's um, why I'm here, and, I'm, and and this is my colleague Nupur. We have a a poster out in the international section there, and we'll be by there, and we can go over what what we do as Pure Connect. Thank you.